All right, guys, this is Darth CEJ78 coming at you with another Star Wars action figure review. Today, we're going to be taking a look at some Clone Wars figures. And uh, the first one I got to show you is the uh, 2013 release of Captain Rex. So here we go. Pretty cool figure. Definitely an improvement over the last one, but still, for being their probably last Rex figure, could have been a lot better. So let's just take a look at some of the details here. Get this out of the way. Take a look at that helmet sculpt. Sculpt's nice. Really like the design there with the uh, mergement of the Phase 1 and Phase 2 helmet. Really cool. Prefer this over the Phase 1 actually. Now you see it has a nice range find here. It doesn't move unfortunately, but it's pan and gray so that's pretty nice. Got yeah, the vents paint on there, some multiple details, the mouthpiece is very nicely painted as well. Got the T-shaped visor with the blue around it. The Jag eyes are perfectly uh, painted on and applied, they are spot on. And along the side of his helmet are kill marks on each side. Uh, he has a pauldron here, which has a sculpted on ammo and has uh, the blue pad on here, so that's pretty cool. It kind of limits the articulation a little bit, but that's okay. On the arm here, you got some blue stripes going on. And you also got a wrist communicator sculpt on there. You can kind of see that. You have some little blue squiggly lines on his torso. Same blue lines there with the 501st. Got thermal detonator sculpted on there in the belt. The uh, camera. You have the uh, blue trim on it. And so, uh, yeah, black camera. That's pretty cool. You get some blue flashes on the knees as well as more kill marks on the legs. Other than that, pretty much your standard clone trooper kind of sculpt. So really cool. As for articulation, he has a ball jointed neck, ball and shoulders, ball and elbows, no articulation in the wrists, which is pretty poor in my opinion. Swivel at the torso, swivel hips, ball hinge knees, no articulation in the ankles. Um, so not bad articulation, a lot better than the other one, but still could have been a lot better. I really wish they put the swivel in the wrists, as well as the ankle articulation. Usually I don't complain too much about that, but for this guy, I find him really hard to kind of stand up in a good pose without them, so that kind of sucks. And as for accessories, first up, he comes with a brand new sculpted uh, Z6 rotary cannon. It's a new sculpt, doesn't have a uh, rocket firing feature, it's just kind of a collector's piece now actually, which is really cool. Get that in there. There we go. Got some nice painted detail there. Looks very nice, it's a lot more in scale with the figure. Uh, the handle here moves, the handle here moves, and the barrels actually turn, so you can turn the barrels, which is pretty cool. So that's pretty useful for stop motions and such. And he can hold it fine. I'll show that in a minute. He does also come with two of his traditional um, DC-17 pistols, I believe. I can get the focus. They're cool. Nothing too special. He grips them fairly well. And they do have holsters, as you can see here. And they do fit fairly snugly in there. So overall, this is the best Phase 2 Rex we're going to get. Um, as the Clone Wars action figure line is ending. So if you don't have Rex already, I pick him up. And definitely, he's just the better Rex. He's probably, he's the best Phase 2. So if you don't have Phase 2, I definitely get him. So that is the review. Overall, not a bad figure. Just could have been done a lot better. So thanks for watching and I'll see y'all next video.